Good evening. Hello everyone. Pop your hands up. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to picture yourself in a large open field. Good afternoon my darlings. How is everyone today? I look really wonky in this camera. And Mr. H is is it in our garage? My extension, my office is in our garage and I can hear funny noises. It's not spirit, it is Mr. H in my garage. How are you all? Are you all good? It's earlier than I normally come on, but I just thought I'd have an afternoon session and see who's around. Hello, Christine. Did you know you are a top fan? <laughs> Hello, Emily. I love the way uh, Facebook picks top fans. It's so funny. What determines you as a top fan? I'd love to know, people. Now, I'm sorry I wasn't live yesterday. I was reading all day yesterday. I was hosting Soul Searchers course, which is helping people find their soul purpose. I've got a stain on my top. Sorry, everyone. Um, I think it's makeup, by the way, not food. And what else was I doing? So I did readings. I did live readings for business in my Spiritually Rich Babe groups. I was serving my one-to-one -one clients, um, I hosted Soul Searchers, I did two readings, and I wrote the April newsletter, did you all see that? Some amazing things happening this month, despite the fact we're all housebound. Um, what is he doing? Mr H is now walking around the garden with an acro pad. Okay. Uh, this is what happens when they're all home. Normally it's so peaceful, so harmonious. Not anymore. They're all home. <laughs> right, here we go. Just posting to Spirits and White Feathers. When you come on, say hi. Let me know you're there. And if it's your first time watching me, let me know. So how are you all doing? How are you all coping with being stuck at home? I don't want to say stuck, that's the wrong word to use because that's not something I would normally use. But how are you all finding it being in your homes a lot? And, you know, are you enjoying it? Are you all doing odd jobs around the house? Is anyone feeling discombobulated? How are you all finding it? And if you can share this live stream as well, my darlings, when you come on, that would be amazing. And if you share and if you've liked the business page, so if you in Spirits and White Feathers, because I've just shared it into the group, if you go out of Spirits and White Feathers and jump onto my business page and click like, then I'll see your comments. Otherwise, I don't see the comments, but I do see them afterwards. So I don't see them live, but if I was to jump on afterwards and read through, I see all the comments there. It's really weird. So it must be something to do with the algorithms or something to do with the live settings. So to make sure I don't miss your comments or your requests for a, re a reading, I can't speak, then please just jump off, click like, and then I'll be able to come back to you. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, Kirsty's saying, I love spending time with the kids, but it can be hard to entertain them. It really can, can't it? This morning I had to watch Disney Descendants 3. It's the world's worst film, literally. And um, I was like, oh, okay. Um, what else? What did we do today? I think that was it that I did with them. I might have set them up with some school work. No, logins, that was it. We couldn't get into their school um, login site, so we fixed that, and then I ended up printing off lots of documents for them to work through. Uh, Christine saying she's eating loads. You and me both, Christine. And I should be running. I literally should be going out running every day, but I look at it and go, oh, let's <laughs> just go for a walk instead terrible i've told one of my friends she has to make me go she has to tell me how far she's going to like spur me up a bit uh joanne hello not coping hi not coping brilliant last couple of days isolated and scared joanne you are not alone there at all and i'm just i'm glad you've raised that because one of my friends mess messaged me yesterday and i was in between meetings most of the day and i was in full spirit mode and katie bubble and spirit bubble and she messaged me really upset, really stressed, and very, very anxious. And I was like, what is going on? Are you all right? Is there anything I can help you with? And she's like, what do you think about all these conspiracy theories? I hadn't got a clue what she was on about. And I was like, conspiracy theories? Bear in mind, I'm trying to read this in between the quick space I have between clients. And obviously, I'm then meditating. I'm in tune with my clients. I'm channeling. 
And I was like, I don't understand, I don't understand. She's like, yeah, there's loads of conspiracy theories everywhere. And she knows, everyone that knows me well knows I don't watch the news and pay attention to anything in the press or anything like that because it's just, unless it's going to serve me, unless it's something positive, I just don't absorb it. I just don't want to. I choose not to. Anyway, she was telling me about this and she sounded so stressed. And I was like, okay, calm down, calm down. You're all right. And I was like, you need to just ignore all that. You need to not pay attention to it and not make it an issue. It's not something you need to be aware of. Um, it's not serving you, switch off from it and close down. So I've said a lot more to her than that, but she then felt much, much better. And I think that's the thing. If it is triggering you guys, you need to close down from it. If it's not something that's making you feel happy, then just try and close off from it. Remember, your vibration is the thing you can control. How happy you are, or not even how happy you are, but how balanced you are, or how good you're feeling in yourself is the only thing you can actually control. So what is actually going to make you feel that good? You know, rather than thinking about the limitations, like I said at the beginning about being stuck in the house, they're not the words to use. It should be, I'm in the house. What opportunities have I got here to make myself feel good? Look after my family, look after myself. What is it I can do? You know, it might be something as simple as having a gorgeous bath with a book and some candles. You know, it could be something like um, cleaning out your kitchen cupboards, which I did, which was so therapeutic. I can't even begin to tell you. But there can be so many different things that you can do. So try and think about it in that sense. And I hope that helps you, Joanne, darling. Um, Andrew's saying he's watched a lot of people running past, not tempted. You know what, Andrew? It's bad because I run at the gym and I go to the gym and I run on the treadmill and I'm really good and I can get up to quite a few, yeah, you know, quite a few things. What they're called, the inclines. So I think I was up at three on the incline, which was really good for me. And I was doing like 30 minutes at a speed of like 9.7 on a three incline, which to most runners is nothing. But to somebody who's massively unfit, that was mega. And I'd do it and I'd feel good. But I think it was the fact I was out and in the gym and I liked getting out because I work from home. So it was just nice to get out. So I think that's what it was. But running around the streets, I'm too scared to breathe near anybody. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> not a good combo, trying to run and hold your breath. Hello, everyone. I actually feel so lazy with all this going on. Yes, I know, darling, I'm the same. I feel lazy as well. It just feels a bit like, um, yeah, like, what do you do? I mean, tonight we're going to cook a roast dinner. We'll go for another walk, which is great. We'll find another route. And then I will try and attempt to run, I think. Um, but yeah, I think there's different things you can do. Uh, we're trying to sort of set up some FaceTime things with people now so we actually get to liaise. I try and call people on my walk slash half jog runs if I do go. You know, things like that, just to break it all up a little bit. Um, but yeah, there's not much else that we've been... I wouldn't give you any other family groundbreaking tips that we've been doing. Oh, apart from everybody has been jumping on the bandwagon of TikTok. Have you heard of TikTok? My youngest daughter's been on TikTok for about five months and she's like TikTok obsessed and she's so funny with it. She's hilarious. And last night she was like, mom, mom, film a TikTok with me. And I was like, okay, try to do it. It's really hard. Couldn't do it. She got angry and then she was like, you rubbish, you're not doing it. And I was like, sorry, I'll try harder. And uh, <laughs> she's like, you're letting my TikTok down. I can't post you on my on my feed. And I was like, okay, calm down, it's fine. Just post yourself. But then she wanted to set up another TikTok with uh, a sister. So she got a sister doing the ones where she puts her legs over her head and all this. In the end, she this TikTok, I kid you not, took over an hour to film. And they had me lying down on the hallway floor to get the right angle so I could get their legs in the perfect angle. It was absolutely crazy. So if your children have TikTok, do not suggest doing a TikTok with them because trust me, it takes hours. And it took so long, I had no energy left after crawling around the floor to come on and give you your live stream. So that's why I gave you the evening meditation last night. So I hope you don't mind that. And I hope you found it uh, useful and had a lovely, gorgeous night's sleep with it. Right, my darlings, should we get started? There's enough of you on now. I've let you share. If you have shared, let me know that you've shared the live stream. Remember to click like on the business page. Otherwise, I won't see your comments at all um, until after the live stream. Nobody knows why. That would be great. Thank you so much. 
And just to let you know how it's going to work, what I'm going to do now is open up to spirit. And I open up to spirit through, um, everyone's looking TikTok. Uh, I open up to spirit through meditation. So we're going to open up and call them in. And then I'll go to who I'm selected. Please ask a question. Because there tends to be quite a lot of you on, although it's mid-afternoon, so there's not as many as normal. Um, but if you, with all the energy and the combined energy from you all, it's best if you actually ask a specific question to Spirit. So if you can think of something you would like to know the answer to, just ask on here. And if Spirit wants to answer, I just go to whoever they choose, whoever I'm drawn to. And don't worry about anything too personal. I know this is a public live stream. I'm very, very good at making you feel loved and secure and safe despite the fact that I can see a lot of things and don't worry if there's something I deem is too personal too private I won't actually voice that on a public live stream okay so don't worry your your secrets are safe with me <laughs> and spirit right then my darling so all I need you to do is get nice and comfy and just pop your palms facing upwards rest them down gently on your legs oh thank you Claire thanks for joining the live stream Claire's saying, um, I love your positivity, Katie. Thank you. Everyone keeps saying this to me. They're like, you're so positive. You're so happy. And I'm like, am I? I'm just, I'm just like this. This is who I am. I do have my grumpy days. But if you just pop your palms facing upwards, press them down on your legs, close your eyes and roll your shoulders back. Take a deep breath in and out for me. And I want you to follow my voice as best you can. I want you to picture yourselves in a large open field. It's a gorgeous summer's day. The sun is shining. Tilt your head up to the sky for that sun on your face, for the warmth and the love of the light. You've got no shoes and socks on. You can feel the soil and grass beneath your feet. The grass is slightly long and it's touching your legs. And as you're walking around the field, I want you to touch the grass of your fingers. You're so safe and so loved in your field. You're so calm, you're so relaxed. Continue to walk around, so looking at the beauty all around you. Pay attention to the blue skies, the green grass. You're so peaceful, so calm. You can hear the birds chirping. See butterflies flying past you. Just take a moment to look at the detail of the wings. You're so safe and so loved in your field. You're so calm, you're so relaxed. Continue to walk around, so looking at the beauty all around you. I'm going to hold your hands in the field now, so you can feel my warm energy coming through to you all. There's a breeze in the air, and you can feel the breeze going through your cheek and into your hair. And around the edge of the field, you'll see some trees neatly lined up. Just take a moment to watch them moving in the breeze. They're moving back and forth, back and forth. You're so safe and so loved in your field. You're so calm, you're so relaxed. Continue to walk around, so looking at the beauty all around you. And I want you to turn around now, look at the top of the hill, where you'll see a plain wooden bench. I want you to take a walk up to the bench and take a seat. And I want you to look down at your toes, give your toes a little wiggle. And I want you to gently swing your feet back and forth, back and forth. And as you swing your feet back and forth, I want you to visualise a circle of light spinning around your toes. As this circle of light is spinning, it's gaining momentum. And as it's gaining momentum, it's travelling up your legs. You can feel the warmth and the love of the light. It's spinning fast, going all the way up your body, going over your fingers, travelling up your arms, travelling up your neck, all the way up over your head to engulfed in this light of love and protection. This is the light of spirit and it's here to keep you nice and safe and guarded throughout our session. Stay with that light all around you for the love, for the warmth, for the joy. We're just going to welcome now our guardian angels to come and sit on our right side. Feel that love, that protection, those wings around us, that warmth. Now on my left side, I'm just going to welcome my spirit guide to come sit beside me. To connect us to the two worlds, feel that connection, that warmth. I'm just going to speak with spirit now. Good afternoon, guys. Hope you're good. Please help me connect with everyone. Please help me guide them, give them any clarity, 
anyone wishing to come forward and speak to anyone, please do so with love and affection to myself, and I'll happily pass on any messages. Please help the energy to be nice and clear and open. Okay, now if you just gently wiggle your fingers for me, wiggle your toes, keep your eyes closed but start to slowly bring your attention back to where we are now, we'll slowly count back from three to one and gently open our eyes, three, two, one. Oh my eyes are watering, oh so bright when you open your eyes. Right my darlings, is that all okay for you all? How did you feel with that? In fact, I'm going to get my phone up. Bear with me, it's quicker. It's delayed on the laptop. Dun, 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 dun. Right, okay. Uh, let's have a look for you. What is it everybody needs? Are oh, you all right? It? That's good. Okay. Okay, so I want to come to Claire. I'm coming to Claire Singleton. Claire, have you actually asked a question, darling? I don't think you have, have you? Let's have a look. I'm just going to read for you. Yeah, Claire Singleton, you haven't asked a question. You've just put love hearts. Can I pin you? I can't pin you. No, okay, so I'm just going to, I'm going to connect to you, Claire, darling. I can't see what your question is. So I hope that Spirit answered the question anyway. Let's have a look for you. Okay, so I feel that life's been a little bit difficult more than, more than it has been recently. And also with this quiet period of time, it almost feels like um, everything's been heightened and there's a lot more concern about the future. Whereas before you were so busy that you kind of just, had to keep momentum and routine. The momentum and routine was keeping you going, but now everything's been paused. It almost feels as if it's it's getting harder. Does that make sense? But it also feels as if you're it's benefiting your children. It's benefiting the little ones in the house. It's making them feel more secure. Um, they're also talking about the animals. You have dogs because they're also talking about the dogs, and you also have a cat. There's a dog and a cat, and yeah, thank you. And there's a gentleman in spirit that's stroking the dog and he's stroking the cat. Um, and there's a black dog. Is this dog in spirit? This dog's living. This dog spirit? Okay. I'm not too sure whether this dog is in spirit or this dog is in um, is living. But I can see a black dog and it's got a shiny coat and it's walking around your kitchen. And in your kitchen, there's open brickwork somewhere in the kitchen. There's open brickwork that I can see. Is it like a fireplace mantle or a, an arger of some kind? But there's open brickwork and they're stroking the dog and there's a dark green is it um a dark green oven there's the dark green arga arga oven whatever this is there's something dark green it's got a gold trim We've got gold handles that you'd have used to pull open anyway and there's tea towels hanging on it so let me know if I'm in your kitchen Claire I hope you're still with me I hope you're still on the live stream but they're um Thank you. And the dog, and they're stroking the dog and they're stroking the cat. There's a cat and a dog reference that they're bringing forward. They're also just trying to let you know that this time's been gifted to you now for you to relax and for you to understand that changes need to be made. And the changes that need to be made will be determined next year. At the moment, it's not your time to make any decisions on any changes that need to be made. For now, you just need to heal. For now, you need to be still in the moment. For now, you need to just be quiet and just be at peace with yourself. And then the changes will be made naturally, but the decisions will be made next week. Okay, so not next week, sorry, next year. The decisions will be made next year. Slow down a minute, spirit darling, thank you. Um, have you seen the rainbows? He's saying, thank you, darling. Uh, there's a gentleman here, so much love. He's your, he's your other half, he's your husband. And he's saying that he misses you and he's talking about the rainbows and he's asking you, have you seen the rainbows? And again, the rainbows came up on the last call, the other call, not with just you, with somebody else. And they're not talking about the rainbows that are in everybody's window. They're talking about the rainbows in the sky. Thank you, I'll tell her. The rainbows in the sky. 
Um, also referencing little girl's voice, singing voice, and you can hear the voice, you can hear the song she's singing, and it's making him, oh, it's making him feel with joy. It's making him feel with joy. She sings to herself rather than a massive performer. She's like coming to herself and singing to herself, and he can hear it. And he's giving so much love and so much love to you and so much strength. And you're doing so well. You're doing so well. So proud of you. You just need to eat more. You need to eat healthier. You need to eat more and keep your strength up. <laughs> just said you should have some lunch like Katie's just had. So I had hearty vegetable soup for lunch. And that's what they're saying you need to eat. You need to eat lunch like Katie's just had. Okay, so um, is this making sense? Living, it's the dog's living, right? Yes, Katie. Okay, lovely. So that's making sense. Perfect, right? Okay. Do you understand the, is it the Arga that was there? I can never remember what I said, by the way, guys, because it's channeled. Yeah. And you're struggling. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear you're struggling, darling. But it will be okay. You just need to allow yourself this time. You need to allow this rest. And next year will be the year for making decisions. But for now, you need to not make any because I feel like either people are trying to suggest things to you or trying to, but they're being helpful. They're helpful suggestions, but it's it's really not, my head's so full, it's just not, it's not there. I can't, I can't think straight. And I've got goosebumps all over and he says, don't, you know, you can't make decisions when you're like that. You never have been able to. So don't rush it. Remember and learn from the past. Um, that's not the time to make any decisions. I'll always serve you well and I'll always serve you. I'll always make sure you're good. I'll always make sure you're looked after. Oh, I'm covered in goosebumps. It's so lovely. And um, I'll always protect you. I promised you that and I, I'll keep my promise. Okay. I'm still here. I'm still here. There we go. Um, very proud of um, little boy. Very proud of little boy. Before they broke up from school, he got an award or he was standing having a certificate or he was having some sort of credibility for work, for his school work. And he's standing there with the, I can see him standing with a certificate or a piece of card. And he's like this and he's really proud. And he's saying to him, tell him well done. I'm so proud of him. He's such a clever one. He's so clever. I'm so proud of him. So there we go. So I'll leave that with you, darling. And I hope that makes sense. Oh, you have the range and the brick fireplace. The brick place, lovely. Okay, that makes sense then, lovely. Okay, well, I'll leave his love with you, darling. Be strong, surround yourself with love, surround yourself with light. And you're going to be just fine. Just make sure you eat better, okay? Make sure you eat better. And he'll always look after you. Oh, that's my John. Oh, my darling, I'm so sorry. There is pink aura all around you, which shows that you are being loved beyond all measures. You are being loved so much and he's sending so much love to you. He's not going anywhere. He's not. <laughs> uh, something about the house has never been tidier. He's just saying the house has never been tidier. And he's smiling. He's trying to make you laugh. And he's done this to you. He's just elbowed. Just elbowed you, trying to get you to... Like, come on, how's this never been tidier? And just smiling. There we go. I'll leave his love with you, darling. And close down. And just to let you know, he's with his mum. So he's not on his own. Because you've been wondering. He's not on his own. He's with mum. There we are. Close down your energy. Lovely to connect with you. Thank you. She said thank you. You're welcome. Closing down. Okay. It's just said you do such great work. You do such great work. Oh, thank you. That's so nice of him. Oh, that was a lovely reading. Um, I hope you're okay, Claire, darling. She's put. Oh my God, that's spot on. Oh, thank you. He's so lovely. He really is. He's lovely to just chat to. And he just said thank you very much. Okay. Okay, I'm going to come to Georgie Morris. Georgie Morris, darling, will my hubby be there for me? Let's have a look. Okay. Let's have a look for you, darling. Oh, Georgie, you two were literally like Claire and her husband. You were, you were like that. You were like that. 
he'll always be there for you darling he is there for you he's all around you very similar to Claire you know he's been very protective Georgie would you understand it doesn't feel like he's been over there that long at all it doesn't feel like it's been five minutes it's saying time has gone so fast since I've been over here but it feels so quick it still feels as if he's only just gone over it all feels so fresh and he's saying he'll let you know that he's okay and he'll stay around you but he is concerned about you Georgie he just want you to start living your life and start finding a way to get inner peace and start to heal I want you to live your life darling and you did have a love like no other very similar to Claire that loving connection that just fills my belly with joy you know the um like soulmate love that's what it is like soulmate love but he's there filling you up with joy filling you up with joy and he's saying please darling go and do something for you as soon as you can go and do something for you and go make your life live your life for the both of us that would make me so happy that would really make me so happy um he's also talking about his anniversary is coming up his anniversary is coming up there's an anniversary that he's talking about and he's sending you white flowers for the anniversary it's not a wedding anniversary but there's something coming up and he's also referencing the month of september towards the end of september is that your birthday that is celebration but there's something around september as well so if you let me know four years ago is it his actual anniversary because there's something he's referencing and he's handing you white flowers so that's very significant to you he's also telling you about um george you don't want to be rude but um do you lie in bed a lot have you been quite down in the dumps and been finding comfort in lying in bed does this make sense um i'm not saying you're lazy spirit not saying you're lazy or anything like that but it feels as if you've been lying in the bed too much because he's gently wanting to pull you up it's your birthday today oh happy birthday darling happy birthday and um, the flowers are for you white flowers um and he's lifting you up and he's trying to say come on you can do things find that inner strength and he's also smiling and he's laughing and he's saying do you remember the songs we used to listen to together and I feel like he tried to sing, but he didn't have the bestest voice, but he still would have tried to sing and still would have made fun of it and really make you laugh. And no one's been able to make you laugh like him. But he's saying, I'm glad I met you and I'm glad we had that time together. I'm glad we were there for each other. Even though it was a shorter time than I would like, I was glad that we met. Oh, bless you. Um, he's also referencing September as well. So I don't know what's happening in September with the birthdays. But it's the end of September and he's referencing that because I can see a birthday cake for that time of month as well. So lots of love, darling. Yes, to staying in bed. OK. Um, we used to go away in September. Right. OK. It's. Uh, thank you. He's, he's trying to give you the strength. He's trying to give you the strength to get up and to to go and live your life and go and go and do things for the both of us. Go and take the trips and go and take that road trip and go and do things. But he's still making you laugh and he's still singing to you and he'll always be by your side always he just said you're a very special lady georgie very special lady and also just one more thing um and then i'll let you go he's thank you darling he's just saying tell her she's beautiful because she doesn't believe that she's beautiful and the person she sees in the mirror is not the person i saw does that make sense georgie so i don't know if you've been hard on yourself but he's just saying beautiful when you look in the mirror don't look in the mirror and tell yourself anything else because i feel like you have done especially the past couple of days but he's looking in the mirror with you and he's saying beautiful beautiful okay now leave his love with you darling there we go and you have yellow aura all around you closing down thank you you're welcome I will. One sec. You won't let me close down until I say to you, tell her she has to find inner strength. She has to find the inner strength. She has to grow. She has to get stand up and she has to rise. Tell her she must find the inner strength. So there we go. Passing on the message. Is that all right, darling? Is that how you wanted me to say it? Love her. OK. And he wants you to know he loves you immensely. Like he's literally saying, tell her I love her. I love her. I love her. There we go. I love her. I love her. I love her. I've told her. There you go okay one more can i yeah thank you he's just saying that and he will continue to communicate with you exactly the way he has been and you understand what he means by that and he's grateful that you're seeing the signs he's grateful that you're hearing him and he'll continue to do it and thank you for acknowledging him there we go thank you okay love you yes that's what i said yeah 
and he said love you again <laughs> you won't let me go georgie one sec you're gonna have to dial him one sec so i've got to move on to other people he's just now showing me a picture of him it's quite tall um quite big sorry it's a what is that is that an eight by six an eight it's an eight by six frame is it your wedding day and it's got a thin frame but i feel like it's got another frame in the middle you know you can get a frame within a frame and it's white and then the picture's there no that's not what you mean okay you show me the frame georgie do you know what i mean it's in a frame it's got wood around the edge thin wood and a picture of you two which i believe is your wedding day but he's telling me to tell you that so you know it's definitely him i will i'll tell her that it's the thin wood around the edge of the frame but it's also got a gold line underneath i'm going to draw it i'm going to draw it oh thank you people are saying katie you're amazing thank you it's like honestly sometimes i love them so much they get so excited that they're here that they won't stop talking and i'm trying to get through as many of you as i can because i know it means a lot to you all no no that's not me moaning to you darling you carry on you can still tell me i know you're excited to speak to her i'm not being rude to you no i know right okay so here we go so oh you know which one it is lovely so it's literally the frame is like that so why can i never find the camera here we go so there's the frame so it's thinner around the edge it's not like my ones here just to give you a demo because he's telling me to be specific so look how thick that is it's not like that it is like that and then round the edge oh, camera here just underneath goes a single gold line georgie do you understand what that is she truly was my heart okay let me know if that means anything just let me know darling thank you because that's what he's saying he's referring to that picture georgie that's the picture he's referring to okay thank you <laughs> all right then love you bob oh his name was bob there we go if i get a name it's usually dead on but if i don't get a name i'm terrible with them i just don't i can't even guess the letters um yeah does that make sense lovely am i allowed to thank you you know which one i mean okay lovely georgie happy birthday and it's such a pleasure to give you this message on your birthday i cannot tell you so thank you very much it's so nice to be able to do that and uh, what a sweetheart right can i let her go now yeah <laughs> is that all right thank you because i've got lots of other people as well thank you can you help them come through thank you that's lovely thanks Bob. Let's close down from Georgie. There we go. We are. If you've liked your readings, if you've found them useful, if you found that you've got something from it, some answers, some clarity, because I do this all the live long day, to me it's normal. To me it's just like uh, just a message from spirit. It's like having those conversations is just normal. But um, I appreciate it's not for everybody, and I have to keep reminding myself that, that it's not the norm for everybody else um so yes if you can do me a little review or put something on the review comments just to help me because i'm growing my business i'm on a, a mission for 2020 to grow and to reach more people and all of that type of thing so that'd be great although i have to say i've been putting live streams onto youtube and people on youtube are really mean they've been saying nice accent lol or your eyebrows are weird I'm just like, who does that? Seriously, what is wrong? Oh, people. Oh, dear. Right, who am I going to now? Let's have a look. Um, uh, who am I coming to? Um, okay. I know, aren't people mean? I know, Elizabeth, people are so mean. Thank you, Kim. They were from a furniture shop, I think. The Wings, yeah, they were from a furniture shop. I keep coming to Joanne Ford, so I'm going to just stop there. 
Um, hi, Joanne, my darling. I hope you're still here. Give me some love hearts if you're still here. If not, I hope you watch this back on replay. I'd love to hear from my dad. Um, Joanne, darling, I can feel that you're, I, can, I don't know whether you're doing this at the moment, but I can see you sat on a settee and I can feel that you felt quite alone recently and you've been thinking a little bit more of dad and you've been missing him a lot more recently as well. And it's almost like you just feel like you've kind of assessed your life a little bit as to what's making you happy and what you could do to live your life more. There's been little things that are just niggling as to whether you should have some changes. Um, and dad's saying to be still in the moment, to the words I can hear, be still in the moment and to, to not make decisions at this moment in time. Um, but it's good to be thinking of these things. It's good to be thinking what suits you and what's taking you to the next next level. Thank you. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I can see you sat on the setting and behind you is a long mirror, a long mirror that way, rectangular mirror, rectangular, rectangle, rectangle mirror uh, with gold around the edge of it. Is it gold? Yeah, goldy brass, goldy brass behind the edge of it. So where am I? And also, do you currently have a cup of tea in your hand or something? This happened to me the other day and there's a lady and they showed me the mug. So just want to make sure I'm tuning into you because I'm sat in a settee and I've got a mug and there's a mirror behind me. Don't be freaked out. I haven't got secret cameras, but that's um, basically what I can see. So let's have a look. What are you saying? Uh, at my parents' house, the mirror. OK, lovely. So it is dad. And um, you've been missing him. Would you understand that? You've been missing him more recently. It's almost been playing on your mind a little bit. But he's just saying that he's absolutely fine over there. But he's a very much a gentleman, Joanne. The man I've got here. Yes, you've got a cuppa. Right, OK. The man that I've got here um, who's watching you, and that's what he's sent to me, by the way. It's not me being a weird stalker. I can actually see because I'm tuned in to him. He's, he's very quiet, but he's very polite. And he's saying, he's like being really polite to me, but he's like, I love you, I love you, I love you. And he's like this doing, you know, hugs around you. But to me, he's been quite gentlemanly and quite polite, which is quite sweet. Very, uh, very English behaviour in that sense. But he's just saying that you, you're stronger than you've ever known, Joanne. You've never believed you're in a strength. You never believed how you can make decisions. And you've never believed how good you actually are. And you don't need to seek approval or proof from anyone else. You can make the choices that you want to make. But first and foremost, he says, try and find out what makes you happy. So rather than thinking about changing certain things, just focus on what actually makes you happy in this moment in time, uh, rather than changes and that, that's what keeps coming up, rather than making changes, think about what would make you happy, then you can decide what to do next. That's what, the men um, that's what he's trying to say to you. So do the mental work before you actually make the decisions is what he's trying to say. Um, he's very smartly dressed and he's got his jacket on. He's telling you to mention to me to mention his light spring jacket. So he's got this, your light spring jacket, okay. So what, he doesn't mean a jacket with springs on it. What he actually means is a jacket he'd wear in spring. So he's got a thin, like a beigey thin. It's not a bomber jacket, but it comes to his waist and it's thin, but then it's got an elastic waistband around the bottom part of it where he'd do it up. And he's wearing that. And he wants you to know he's got his loose, he's got his little jacket on because the weather's picked up. And the weather's quite nice. So he's been walking around with you. He's been on his walks with you. Um, it's nice to see you getting fresh air. It's nice to see people enjoying the downtime. It's nice to feel nice to be walking with you. It's nice to be hearing your thoughts. So whatever you've been thinking about, yes, you know the jacket. Okay, whatever you've been thinking about on your walk. So if you've been talking to him as well. Yeah, she's been talking to me. Yeah, so you've been talking to him on your walks and he's saying that he's been hearing you and he's been walking alongside you and he's got his light jacket on because it's nice nice weather now isn't it it's nice weather we're having so there we go he will stay with you he'll support you but just allow yourself to just take this time to reflect and just find what works for you rather than making decisions so there we go okay um he loves you very much know that you are never alone okay what's happening in october What's the link to October in the family? I believe that's somebody else in the family that he's trying to reference. It's not necessarily related to you. October, somebody, who is it, darling? Is mom still here? Something to do with mom. October and mom, is mom still here? Let me know. 
Thank you, John, darling. Lockdown has given me more time to tune in. Amazing. I need help here. <laughs> um, always a pleasure to your positivity spreading the love. Thank you, John. That's so sweet. Joanne, mom's still here. What's the reference between mom? There's another sibling. Thank you. You have a sibling, Joanne. There's a sibling and there's a link to October and it's towards the end of October. Thank you. You've got your sibling. She's going to America to see my sister. And that's towards the end of October. And that's what the link is between mom and you're not going, are you? Because it's the link for them too. Because he's putting a big love heart around them. He's putting a big love heart around them. And um, mom's got such strength and she's so healthy and so well. And he's so, it's so wonderful to see her so healthy and so well. And almost glowing. And he's referencing how good she looks and her skin. And how great her skin is. It's a really random thing for someone to reference. But yeah, he's talking about her skin and her face. You're not going, no, he says that. Um, but he's talking about mum's face and skin. Has mum got a glow about her? Why is he referencing her face? Let me know. There's something about that. God, I look really weird on this live stream. I do, this top. I need to do some shopping, internet shopping. Um, let me know, darling, let me know before I move on. Yes, she's well, okay. But there's something about her skin, he's referencing it. So have a look and see her skin. And yeah, there's something, there's something more. Okay, there's something more with that. But he loves her very much and lots of love to your sibling as well. And what else, darling? Didn't think you'd ever see me on a live stream like this, did you? <laughs> That's what he's saying. Didn't think I'd ever come through. I like to surprise. Could you understand that this has been really difficult for him? Well, it would have been difficult for him. And when he's a, when he was alive, he would have told you not to not to do this, like not to do this, not to be part of these things. Oh, <laughs> there we go. No, he's a shy man. Yeah, he is. And I don't think he would have. He wouldn't have been horrible to anyone that does this. He wouldn't have been horrible to me if he was living. But he wouldn't have really. He would have tried to justify it, or he wouldn't have really played any part in it. There we go. But I'm going to send him lots of love and I'm going to close down from his energy. Oh, he's so lovely. Thank you, darling. He's just nodded to me like that. There we go. And he's blowing you a kiss and said, I love you, darling. And he's just showing me a picture of you with, you have blonde hair when you were little and there's pigtails. And he's just showing me a picture of you with blonde hair with pigtails with bows in them, like ribbon bows tied. There we go, tied ribbon bows. It's so cute. It's so cute. There we go. I'm going to close down from your energy. There we go. You've got an orange aura all around you. There we go. Thank you, Joanne. I think you're new to this, aren't you? And you're new to following me. So you are so, so welcome, my darling. Um, what I was going to say to you all, right, hang on one second. I've got something for you all. So if you have just signed up for my psychic school, I'm so delighted because everyone got started today. The doors are now closed. But if you're wanting to develop your gift, I have a psychic bundle that is available to purchase. That is a self-study that will just help you get into it. So if you want to start to learn how to do what I'm doing now and you want to see if you even have a gift or you're just interested in spiritualism or you don't want to watch the news because why would you at the moment and you want to watch something a bit more positive and you want to have a bit more energy from me, Get yourself in there. I've just posted the bundle. I'm also offering 50% off readings at the moment for the 30-minute ones. So if you want to get those, what is the coupon code? Reading 50. You can sign up. It's only on 30 minutes only. 30 minutes only. And the code is reading 50. There we go. Uh, for 50% off. There we are, my darlings. Oh, what have I done? There we go. I think I've pressed it like 15 times. There we go. You should get it there. Right, my darlings. Right, I'm going to close down now from Spirit, and I'll be back with you all tomorrow. Who knows what time? Um, but I'm going to go now and go and look after my little family and make sure they're all doing their homeschooling because life as an entrepreneur here is difficult trying to homeschool and I've got no staff to help me in the house. The ball obviously not allowed to come. 
so I'm doing everything else as well. But I know everyone does this and it is very much first world problems. So we're going to go and look after them all. But thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the messages. I've enjoyed the spirits today. They've been absolutely amazing. They've been so gorgeous. And if you would like to leave a review on what you thought of this, whether you've got a reading or not, I'd really, really appreciate it because it helped me grow my gift. I want to do it organically. I want to do it the right way. And I want to do it um, without being forced. And if you enjoyed it. That feels good to me. That feels the right way. Okay. We can also stop with the mean people on YouTube. Mean people. I really don't care though, don't worry. <laughs> right, so let's close down from spirit now. So don't jump off the live stream because this will really help you feel balanced and it will also help no spiritual energy stay with you. So you can close down and yeah, feel really gorgeous for the rest of the day. So get your palms facing upwards. If you just pop them down on your legs and roll your shoulders back, just take a deep breath in and out for me. And I want you to follow my voice as best you can. I want you to picture yourself back in the field where we began. It's still a gorgeous summer's day. The sun is still shining. Tilt your head up to the sky, feel that sun on your face, for the warmth and the love of the light. You've got no shoes and socks on. You can feel the soil and grass beneath your feet. You are rooted and grounded to the earth. And our spirit now and our guardian angels to release from our bodies any energy that no longer serves you. So any stresses, any strains, any worries, any fatigue, any ill health, any energy you've absorbed from others. We're going to take it all out of our bellies. I want you to visualise it now leaving your belly, through your belly button, like a mist going out into the distance, far, far away, out into the distance far, far away. Feel how light you feel, how calm. We're going to fill our bodies up with a beautiful, beautiful white light. Just wiggle your toes again one more time in the soil. Really root and ground yourself to the earth. And now I want you to look down at your toes and visualise a white light going off each one of your toes. As your toes are lighting up, you feel the love, for the warmth, for the joy. This light is radiating around your feet. Slowly rise up your legs, coating your legs, radiating beautiful light all around you. Travelling up your thighs, travelling up to your tummy, connect with that light deep in your tummy, for the love, for the warmth. The light continues to rise, travelling up your torso, coating your torso, radiating beautiful light all around you. Travelling up to your shoulders, hold that light there at the top of your shoulders. Now draw attention to your fingers. One by one they're lighting up, you can feel the love, for the warmth, for the joy. The light continues to rise, travelling over your hands, your palms, travelling up your forearms, your upper arms. Travelling up your neck, around the back of your head, around the front of your face and out through the top of your crown. You're now surrounded in a beautiful, beautiful white light. Nothing can get through this light other than love, respect, happiness, joy and abundance. Bathe in the beauty, bathe in the warmth. You so bless and so love thy spirit. I'm going to say thank you to spirit. Thank you so much for being here today. Please continue to look after all of these gorgeous souls here. Please send them all a white feather as a sign that you've been here. And it's not just been me rambling on. I'm going to close down for everyone now, Spirit, but I'll be back with you very soon. Thank you, my gift, Spirit. I love you all so much. Bathe in this gorgeous light. Just a few more moments. Anytime you need it, it's there for you. Now if you just gently wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, start to slowly bring your attention back to where we are now, back into the room, back into the chair, and we'll slowly count back from three to one, and then gently open our eyes. Three, two, one. There we go, my darling. Thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow to do more readings or more messages. Who knows? I'll just go with whatever comes through, what I'm channeled to do. But have a gorgeous afternoon. Think of me now being a school teacher, as I'm sure most of you are. 
The links are there if you would like to have a reading or if you would like to jump on board with the Psychic Bundle. It's totally your choice, my darlings. And I'm sending you all big kisses, big loves. Bye-bye.